Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adrian Vaughn with a look at the tropics, and we finally have something to talk about in the Atlantic Basin. It has been quite some time since we've had anything, so to speak, of in the Atlantic Basin. In fact, the last system that we had out there was Colin, and that dissipated on July 3rd. So we finally have some action out here in the Atlantic Basin. It's a tropical wave that's moving off the coast of Africa here this weekend. It looks to work its way off the coast tonight and into Sunday. Day and could see gradual development with this one as we head through the next five days. The National Hurricane Center uh, highlighting that area there in yellow, giving it a 30% chance of development as we head through the next five days. So something to monitor, but it is way, way out there. And uh, just now, as mentioned, coming off the coast of Africa. So a lot of time to iron out all the details with this one. I do think it's going to have quite a bit of trouble as it works its way across the central Atlantic. We're still dealing with a fair amount of dust out there. And the upper level winds I think may inhibit development with this one as well and uh, the current movement with this to the west northwest if it stays like that uh, probably not going to be an issue for the Caribbean the United States or certainly the Gulf of Mexico either but of course we'll continue to keep you up to date on the very latest on that speaking of the dust we continue to see more of that move through uh, parts of the central Atlantic here we are uh, today you'll notice that plume of dust working its way closer to the Caribbean as we head towards Monday and eventually heading into the Gulf of Mexico by the time we get into the middle to end of next week, but it looks to be lessening, uh, dissipating a bit as we get towards the mid to end of the week. So maybe a little bit of dust as we get uh, towards Thursday, Friday, entering the Gulf of Mexico. But again, I think it'll be dissipating as it does work its way into our direction. So something we'll also be monitoring here as we get through the next couple of days. The dust typically peaks during the month of July, and we start to see less and less of that as we move through the month of August. Uh, names, as mentioned, our last name storm was Colin. That dissipated back in the early part of July. We have not had a name since since then, so it's been over a month since we had a name storm in the tropical Atlantic. The next name on the list is Danielle, so something we'll be watching. And of course, we know that during the month of August, things start to ramp up. We are still pretty early on in the season, especially as we get through the latter half of this month and head into September and even into October. Things continue to stay fairly active. The peak of hurricane season that comes our way on September 10th, so about a month away for the peak of hurricane season. Hey, if you want to stay on top of everything tropical and even here locally with our forecast. You can download that Fox 26 weather app and you can connect with me on social media.